G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Word 2013 tutorial. This time we are talking about templates. So, I've put together a very, very quick document and I'm going to explain how this template stuff works. So as you can probably tell, all this stuff here is greyed out and all that stuff is greyed out as well. That means that's in the header section and that's in the footer section. It's very, very common for businesses to do things like this. This would be considered a letterhead. Okay, so if you were going to write a letter to anybody, you would have your business logo, you would have your symbol, and you'd have your contact details at the top right hand side of the page. And then, if it's an internal document like a memo, you would have the document name down the bottom and how many pages, generally speaking, at the bottom. So, this would be an internal letterhead document. There are heaps of other documents that would come under this category, such as uh, faxes, you could have different things for programs, and you could have software requests, etc, etc. All these different things are templates. So, let's just say I want to save this document like I would always do, okay? I'm just going to click on the Save button because I haven't saved it yet. Let's go to Computer, let's go to Documents, let's save it in here somewhere, let's call it doo -doo 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 -doo, Letterhead. Makes sense. Would you upgrade to the newest file? Well, yes, yes I do. Alright, so that there is saved, it's ready to go. I could close this now. I'm not going to just yet. What I'm going to do is just quickly go to here. Okay. So, let's close the document now. Everything's saved. It's all good to go. Let's say I open up this letterhead. Let's say there's a couple of people that want to work on it. I open it up. I start working on my document. Go away, symbols. We were in the last video. Let's say I start typing up all my stuff. Dear sir, get off my lawn. Yours faithfully. What the hell? Fearfully. Fearfully! Fantastic. Oh my god, I can't type today. Okay. So let's say that's essentially what I want to type up. I go save, close my document, go, wait up. Crap, I needed to save as. My letter is still in there. Let's say another person comes in, says, what the hell is this? Gets rid of it, saves it, it's gone forever. Now, realistically, I could just use the save as function, okay? Because I know how to use it. I've taught you guys how to use it as well. Realistically, that'd be the easiest way to go. However, there is an easier way, as you're probably guessing. You use a template. So let's say there's a second problem that's going to cut come up. Let's say I go, hello, sir, do stuff, Nick. Okay, just saving it, I'm just closing it. I'm not going to close it. I'm going to try and reopen it. Whoop, clicked on the wrong button. Oh God, go away. Okay, if somebody else tried to open this document up, what would happen is it would be in read-only mode and the other person wouldn't be able to use it. They would have to save as and then they can start using it. Again, there's an extra step in there that we don't really need. Okay, let's delete that. All the stuff in this document is what I want every single letterhead to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File instead of and go to Save As. Let's go to Documents. Instead of saving it as a Word document, I'm going to save it as a Word template. Now, straight away, it changes the folder that I'm saving it in. It goes to cu Custom Office Templates. Now, if you want to save in there, great. If you don't, Make sure you change the location before you click the Save button. So I'm going to save. I'm going to close my template. And you'll see now I've got two documents. I'm going to delete this second one that we created earlier. And we've got this .x folder. If I zoom in to the icons, you'll see it's got a little bit of a different icon. That's a regular document icon. That is a template icon. So what this is trying to represent is one of those old school leaflet days where if it's like a memo or if it's like an invitation, you can tear off a page and take it with you. That's essentially what it's trying to mimic. So let's open up this document, so double click on it. And first of all, I want you to look at the top of the document right up here on the t document title. It says document one. So what it's actually done is it's opened up the template but it's created a copy of the template that is all mine. So if somebody just went in and tried to open up the letterhead, it would give them their own copy as well. So I could go, dear sir, blah, and go, and forth. If I click save now, it's like I'm saving a whole fresh document. So 
My dear Sir Letterhead. I save that and close it. You see, it retains both of them. Okay? I could open up the letterhead template again. Gives me a fresh template once again. And these are the things that you need to learn when it comes to templates. It's really handy for businesses to utilize them as best they can. Okay? Templates are also powerful when it comes to locking out sections of the document, but that's outside the scope of this video I'm going to talk about. Now, let's say that's all well and good. Let's say I want to edit the original document. So double clicking creates a fresh document every single time. So to edit this template, what you got to do is right click and click open. You'll see that the default option is new. So if I go open, it actually opens the template. Let's say I don't like the positioning of this box or this box. I can move them around, fix them up a little bit. And my logo can come across. Okay, I'll click save. I'm actually saving the template right now. If I double click it, those changes have held up. So that's pretty much it. It's a very quick and easy video today, everybody. It's just about templates. Get used to them, learn them, use them. And if your business doesn't use templates, encourage the hell out of it because this is the way to go. Okay, If they just use straight documents and you need to make a copy of it every single time, they're doing it wrong and they need to fix their practice. But that's it for the moment, everybody. If you've got any comments, questions or requests, put them down the bottom. I'll see you in the next video. See you ta-ta for now.